we're back. Camera's in the water, just doing a clarity test. Always the nervous part of this. Without clarity, we have nothing. It looks pretty clear. I reckon it's gonna be sweet, but we'll soon find out. Can you see? Not yet, it's been a bit slow loaded. All right, I'll catch up with you in a minute, guys. Oh, hang on. All right, well, it looks pretty good at the minute, but I actually dropped the camera by accident. It landed all right, but uh, it's pointing down a little bit, so I'm gonna try and move it. I don't wanna stir the water up, you see. Try and move it so we can get a better view. So this is old shows and tall for the job. Rumour has it this once belonged to who? Apparently it's Danny Fairbrother. It's what he used to weigh all his uh, all his carp on. Well, carp, right, let's see if he can give it a jiggle. Here we go. There was carp straight away. They look he looks quite a good carp, doesn't he? Down here, apparently, it is not ideal, but with the reeds, I feel like they'll come close enough to the camera. So, we've got it down there at the minute. Obviously, the camera we can't fish in there, so it will be going on the other side of them reeds. There is there's another one there. Not a bad fish either. They just need to come about another fucking three foot closer, and we'll be laughing. So how far do you reckon they are? No. The one that just come through, how far was he? Right. Tom? Yeah. What time do you call this? Uh, time I got here. <laughs> it's like stars in their eyes waiting for him to come out the door. Single man, reveal yourself. <laughs> Are we going to put that back where you got it from? I'm buzzing with this now. Look. Yeah, because ideally I'm thinking. Yeah, you yeah. Ain't, you're, you're very. You're. If you can land it, you won't land it there again. Very often. <laughs> you did just do the last two casts left, though. Not okay. that tight. Um, We're not moving the camera again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's sad. If anything, mate, it's easier for you to cast at its six inches left anyway. You've got more scope going left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your left. The easier cast for you put, just, puts you here. Any mate. more left, it feels like I'm out of the. You're not. The roadway, the motorway, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mate, no. <laughs> you're not. Everything's landed in that screen, mate. Yeah, you're yeah. Fuck, you're in an ink over there, mate. Like you're. It's Stop like, worrying. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> How excited are you, Rich? Uh, in terms of any shoots possible, the, the most. <laughs> Think else has been filmed then? Eh? That's right. You was live on the uh, on Novice Canvas, mate. <laughs> we are back. Round three. Round three, mate. <laughs> Third time lucky. <laughs> Right, so we're back, and this time we're at the Gold Lake in Reading. Camera's been in a few days now, and uh, I am pretty excited about this shoot. Right, so as much as I'd love to cast this rod out straight away, I've just got to go around there and uh, put a little bit of bait in. I did bait last night, but we've just turned the camera on, and. Uh, there is virtually no bait there. I think we can see one piece of sweet corn in front of the camera. Obviously, I stayed here last night and I did hear a couple of ducks diving on it, um, but I'm not convinced they've eaten all the bait we've put out. This is actually a spot that I fished last winter in, in January. Did really well off it. Um, so yeah, things are looking really good. Right, so we're just going to go and get a bit of bait in. Um, not too much, but we have seen that the spot is totally bare. So I'm probably going to put a pint of maggots and maybe half a tin to a tin of sweet corn. You know, enough for a bite, uh, but not too much. <laughs> then we're about to put some bait in. We've got another carp in the swim. Epic. Look right in front of the camera as well. 
Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Mate, there's one right in front of the camera. You're joking. We've just seen the, the we just saw the uh, reeds knocking as we come round. I've got a mouthful of brownie. <laughs> right, if I if I put this bait out, mate, I'll start with a bit of corn. Just um, just tell me how it's landing in front of shot. Yep. I feel like that fish might have fed. There's lots of part the bits coming through. Are you ready? I reckon that's a little bit long. Hang on. Right, hang on. I think, yeah. See if you can see them falling in shot. I reckon that was a bit far. Right, that's good, mate. You could almost go a little bit, um, oh, morning geese. Yeah, they're good, they're in the zone, mate. It's all, they're a little bit close to the camera, maybe, if anything. So it's just a nice mix, really, Tom. It's a bit, some are close, some are bang on the money, some are a little bit far. These, we know these take, oh. Maggot, I can see, no, maybe, no. Uh. They're red you've got, aren't they? Yeah, oh, Elliot's ringing. Sorry, Elliot, you got to wait, mate. Um, see any maggots? Oh, here we go, they just, just arrived, mate. Yeah, they're, do you know what, mate? Let me, let, let me just get them to it bottom, because it's quite deceiving, but it's absolutely raining maggots. Elliot's ringing me now, go away, Elliot. Oh, mate. Spot on, really, mate. Yeah, it's just all in the kills. And maybe a little bit further. No, I was going to film you. You're going to fucking identify this bird for us, mate. I think it's a warbling what's it. What do you think it is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tom? I reckon it's a uh, flat bird. Oh, so we've settled it. <laughs> it is a warbling what's it. <laughs> Anyone out there can uh, identify this? We need Dave here, don't we? Dave know what that is. What bird is that? What's it flaming? Shut up. Carp, 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 carp. Do they both fly off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back of the spot, carp. Oh my God. Could he get any close <sighs> to the camera? Oh my God. Oh. Right, that was a drive by alarm. That was, wasn't it? You almost Literally, touched it. He blocked the camera. <laughs> Come back. Feed. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about it, maybe it's scaring the carp, and then all of a sudden that didn't scare right, him, did it? That camera does not scare the carp. <laughs> he was like sat on top of it. <laughs> Come on, fish. Come feed. On, come back round. Feed. They know it's that, mate. They've been feeding on that for over a week now. Oh, here he is. Is that him? He's gone up oh, and round, has oh, yeah, he? Yeah, yeah. No, I reckon that's a different one. It may be. I don't know. I don't know if he's gone. Is that a bream? No, it's no, a carp. No, no, no. It's, just, it's a very flat carp. <laughs> I think it's just the angle. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back. Is he coming turning? Yeah, he's drifted off into open. He's coming towards us. He is. Hopefully, he's going to appear here in a minute. I think that was two different fish. Oh, I do, mate. I yeah, think I, I think he ain't got fish. enough time to go up and round, has he? That one also looks huge when it's right in front yeah, of the camera. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. We've seen, what, half a dozen sightings already yeah. this morning in the first two hours. It's, good. it's not even been that. The camera's, no, the camera's been, what, hour and a half? Yeah. I think eight o'clock the rig went in, the rig's been in an hour. Just need one to feed. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it there? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You are. It is, isn't it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, do you know what's weird about this? I've only fished this lake three times. One time I've blanked. I've, li I've fished this lake three times. The one time I've blanked, the two other times I've caught, and I caught the same 30 pounder both times. And there he is on screen. Oh, is he 30 pounds? Yeah, he's my mate, he is. Are you going to catch him again? I hope not, but we'll take him in front of the take camera. Him, yeah. It is, oh, it's so, fish, isn't so it? So that's a 30 pounder? Yeah, it's like 31. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. yeah straight wicked. away, when I saw them scars on the wrist of the tail, he's, put, he's wrinkly, isn't he? Yeah, I thought, I've seen you before. It's yeah. definitely him, isn't it? Minute, yeah, 100%. Yeah, look, you got the three, yeah, one, two, three. Uh, yeah, same ones. I'd like to catch a different one, to be fair. <laughs> but we'll take him. We'll take him. <laughs> he likes that reed bed. Yeah. I caught him down the other end the first time, oh, but I job. caught him off his reed bed in January last year. It is a nice looking cart, to be fair. He's got a nice mouth for me. These and And they nice. They am lovely, mate. You caught, I bet your core eat them all in one go, though. I bet I can. I bet you caught. Mm. Am you going to do it? I am, mate. Oh. I am going to try my best. Elle's gonna, Elle's I'm more expecting that. I'm more expecting that. Elliot's been getting uh, language lessons from. We've been practicing the lingo. Black country. Go on, Elle. Aye. Tell, tell us Aye. a bit. Aye. War is wasn't. And can it also be weren't? War is wasn't. Am is are. Core. Core is can't. War. I did war. Did I do war? War is wasn't. Uh, faggot is. Um, Food <laughs> and pays, pays is peas. Saft, saft is daft and silly combined. Saft, <laughs> quite a good word. Uh, I feel like there's one more. Am as well. How am you? How am you? How am is are. Do we do that? Yeah. Am, is am is are. Am is are. The fuck does that mean? Well, how are oh, you? Oh, am is are. I thought you said how that. Am no. you? How am you? Yeah, is you. But I thought you meant am is are as a saying, like you would say to someone, am is are. <laughs> <laughs> is that same carp again? Yeah, didn't yeah, you again? Yeah. yeah, so I think like, they've, they, all of these carp have blatantly fed on the extreme edges of that bait, haven't they? Yeah. You can see it now. We've ended up with a, your rig is yeah. sat in a big patch of bait. Both days, both days, I mean, we're three days in now of this shoot, and both days we've had regular feeding activity, and my rig has been placed, what you'd say is perfectly, amongst the bait. They've literally fed everywhere other than where the rig is. Mm. Not once have we seen a carp come and dive in straight into the centre of bait. Yeah, they've ignored the centre of that spot every mm. single time. Even when they've gone to feed in the centre, they turn away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas the edges, they feed happily. This is why, I mean, obviously we've had that cock up with the second rod today. Problem is now, having that rod snagged in the reef means I can't even recast this rod. Not we'll, that I'd we'll sort that out later. Not that I'd really want to recast it with 20 minutes of the day left. But tomorrow, we need two rigs, one on this extreme side of the spot and one on the other extreme mm. side of the spot and all the bait needs to be in between and them. probably a third rod in the middle just in case they decide to no <laughs> they ain't feeding in the middle of the bait i've come to that conclusion like yeah I'm, uh, obviously i wasn't here for day uh, one our but. perfectly placed or my perfectly placed rigs or what you class as just ain't the ones you'd be better off with a miscast off the side of the spot mm. I mean, obviously it is February and we have got a fair bit of bait out there, but it's been painful to watch. Like, I genuinely, we've had so many carp now land on that spot and feed over the course of two prolific days. I know a few did yesterday, but not many. And not one has actually come really, like, close to the rig. Is that just bad luck? It's not a coincidence, is it, that? Not re no, not really. Obviously, I wasn't here day one, but from what I've seen today... Like, this area here, this area here, and this area here are there's, all kill zones. There's essentially a donut around your hook bait, a bait. Yeah, yeah, now, basically... Of clear bait. There's yeah. not really any bait left here. No, no. No. I need to, like, you need to be... I always need to be... I'm all, you know, we're always so... Um, I don't know, like concerned about accuracy and so adamant that it needs to be super accurate, bait super accurate. And really, we'd be better off being less accurate in this instance. What are you saying, Rich? Rich, what are you saying? Yeah, that is very much the feeling today. We're going to do what this. What do people mate. think of the... Um Double oh, camo. leave in the comments section, what do you think of the duck camo? <laughs> Double camo. Double camo. Oh, I thought you said duck. Tom's casting has been excellent, we must point that out. We've got two rods on the spot now. Originally it was just one, but we've had all sorts of stuff going on, fish feeding on the edge of the spot more than the centre. They seem to work around the very 
outer edges and then whittle it down until there's like a patch left in the middle. It's been really quite interesting actually, as these shoots always are. We've learnt loads, seen loads of cool stuff. Got some mega footage, but as of yet no carp, so it's all riding on today really. We have got tomorrow morning as well. We need a carp today. Ready? Yeah mate, I'm ready. Right, let's go again. Come on. It's the black one, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's the linear, isn't it? No, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. It looks different when it comes it's in from the, the left. left. Yeah, far off from the big. Please, Come end on, our mate. day beautifully. Ah! Oh, mate, honestly, right? They are never going to eat that up, mate, I swear. Like, it's, it's just happened so many times now. I'll, I'll bet you every square inch of this spot, other than the four inch perimeter around my rig has had lips all over, all over it. it today. Well, there's no bait left anywhere else. But this is. has happened two days now. Like the first, the, basically two days we've had fishing. Can they see it? Well, I don't think they can. I think it's just incredibly bad luck. This is not bad luck. I, don't, I think the rig avoidance thing is, I don't think they're avoiding your rig, but the fact they've eaten all around the edges is not bad. They're doing that on purpose, aren't they? Like, like the, the baited area, it's like they whittle it down and whittle it down and whittle it down and whittle it down. And because the rig's so perfectly central, because the that's last where we go. want it. The last bit to go. And yeah. by the time it gets to that, it's dark and we have to reel in. Yeah. He's getting closer to the rig every time. Yeah. We've, got, we've probably got 10 minutes of light left. And judging by the frequency of his visits, we might have one more chance. That was so close. So close, but so far away. Right, it's our last day. Have to shoot, last full day anyway. Early morning. Bait on the spot from last night. We've had two carp in already. There's hook bait number one, look, centre of screen. Let's have a little looky outside. That's the reed bed we're fishing. Or oh, Tom is fishing. Tensions are high this morning. Here he is, look. Tom was very angry yesterday. It's cold. Sorry, it's not cold at all. It's really mild. It has been cold. It's gone lovely though last night. Yeah, come on, Carl. Oh. We've got to pull this off today. Lots of rubbish in the tree there. We've been eating well at least. Go back inside. Oh, hang on, look. One little edge I have uh, reminded myself how good these are over the last few days. That's the big one. Yeah. That's the big one. That is the big one. Look at the shape of him. Yeah. Because he's a pet to go. He's always struggles like, to swim up. It's glitching. Why is it doing this? He's freezing. We've got major camera problems here. What is going on? Come on, load you mother Well, I imagine you've plugged it back in the same one it was in, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so, no. Hang on, no, 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 wait, it takes a little while. That's the big end. There's a big carp there, That's yeah. the big end. That is the big end. Oh, he's snatching, isn't he? Just the same every time, man. Exactly the same every time. It's really annoying that he's feeding there as well. Oh, that is dramas. We just had major connection problems here. The screen's been glitching out, we turned everything off. Couldn't get it back on. I'm, I'm around the other side trying to sort the box up. Just heard Rich shout, and I'm sure he said, Tom's in. I thought we'd missed the bite. That would be typical. <laughs> just turn the camera back on, and within seconds, a big fish was fed. That was like 10 minutes of sheer panic. 
I was totally expecting one of those rods I to was, go mate, while there was no view. Like... And they've mm. definitely been feeding while it's, look how coloured it is yeah. now. That was lucky. Oh, I was shaking, mate, in fear. <laughs> Carp there, in the back. Mm. Back a shot, there isn't there. Yeah. He's gone for the up, mate. Got it. Richard, how you feeling? Relieved. Tom, how you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> so am I. But why are you feeling so good? Can you see down there? Oh yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. We caught a winter carp in front of an underwater camera. Which has never, ever, ever been done before. And has taken us a, very, a long time to pull off. Very stressful. Very stressful couple of days we've had here. What about the other 10 before it? Well, they, it was weird because they weren't so much stressful because it just never felt like it was happening. Yeah, but true. But here it felt like yeah, we should have caught has one. Been, this has been stressful. Here we go. Rod's back out, yellow pop up, that done the business. Just got to try and catch another one now. Bigger one. Many soft images here. Bigger <laughs> one. Hey! <laughs> Things are going from good to gooder. Good to better. Look at him, look. Mm. And him. Look at this cow's just turned up as well. Teddy bear. With oh, this yeah. huge cake. If any man's going to turn up a cake, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Carl. Another one bites the dust. Ding, ding, ding. What a crazy shoot this has been. And we're ending on a high. Camp submerged will soon be broken down and we're going home. Tom's already basically run to the car. He's packed up, as you can see. All that remains is this fish. We have caught this in the nick of time. Or well, he has caught this in the nick of time. Give us a thumbs up, Tom. There you go, look. We're very happy people. But right, Tom's got to go home. We need to sort this fish out. Goodbye. All right, bye then, Tom. You've got to go, you've got to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what a shame. I hate you guys. I told you not Hang to on. You're the one doing the poxy slideshow. You should have cancelled it. I Look told you not to turn this camera back on. You could be catching multiple carp here. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? There was a, that big one was here and all. You weren't. <laughs> right, I'm going home. Tom, let's have a hug. He's back, he's back, he's feeding. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, he's got the rig, has he got the rig? He's got it, hasn't he? Oh, mate, honestly, right, they're never going to eat that up, mate, I swear. Quick, come here. No, I'm looking, I'm looking, I don't want to conclude too close. I've got he's no hit quick. Look, I can see it. Oh, oh my God. That's hanging incredibly close, that hook, mate. Mate, that's going to get one, that yellow one. I've got a good feeling about him. He's gone for the up, mate. Got it. Yes! Oh, look at him go. Such an awkward, such a tight little swim, this. Can they see it? Well, I don't think they can. I think it's just incredibly bad luck. Yellow pop-up, yellow pop-up wallet. Got it, yes! We've waited a long time for this fight. Yes! <laughs> yes! Give me a cuddle! <laughs> High five, Rich. Oh. We've done it. Yes. We have an underwater yes, winter film <laughs> in the bag.